Hey everyone, this is PX Mr. Collector. Welcome to another <gasps> episode. Mm. Woo, we got a lot to talk about today. There's a lot of news going on. Hey everyone, this is Peter Zay. Ooh, I am so excited. You're like, where have you been? I actually have been away working. Yeah, yeah, somebody has to support this horrible, horrible hobby. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I got home and when I arrived, there were a slew a fun stuff waiting for me. Yeah, a lot. And I pulled stuff out. I, 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 as you can see, I can't even talk because I am looking around at some really amazing stuff. So what I've done is I went ahead and I divided groupings. What am I going to show you? And um, I got some news to you. A few, a few fun things. Well, of all my little sections here, let's talk about Barbie. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on with Miss Barbie. And when I got home, wow, Mama was waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, so excited about that. Yeah, we'll get to her in a second. Mmm. What else is gonna be happening? Oh, you see behind me? Hmm? Finally, finally, as a matter of fact, right after this video, I am going to be recording the display case. Ooh, yeah, it's time, my display case is full. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out, do, ooh, how can I add? How can I add another case? Hmm, I don't know, I'm tight. Um, I got so many new things, and some of these things have to go behind me. They, they just did. They just have to. As it is, I have had no room <laughs> for my Barbie movie collection. <laughs> I know, I know, right? So I'm just trying to figure out how to make that work because let's face it, that collection when you put it all together, it's looking pretty sweet. And I love, 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 love the fact that they're still adding some characters to it. For example, I know you heard. Yeah, sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah, call the dog sugar. Okay. <laughs> Sweet, right? Yeah, and as a matter of fact, when I see the movie again, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be looking out for sugar daddy. Yeah, um, I thought it was really cool that they, they did that, they included it, and then the fact too that they're promoting Ken in a way, and that's awesome. Yay for Ken. Um, then, Something happened. I um, I have an, a doll that I'm actually gonna show you. But when I got her, mama was a mess. Yeah. I was like, I, I'm sorry, but that is not acceptable. It was like, it, it been through a rack. <laughs> so I contacted Amazon and to my delight and my surprise and my yay, my yay moment, um, they told me to keep the doll and they're gonna send me another one. And I was like, cool. So when I arrived, the new one was here. Better, much better, right? Perfect, no. You know, they, they ship, ship them out in these um, envelopes and come on, by the time they get, it, they get to you, it's like, woo, good luck. <laughs> I know, I wish they stopped doing that, um, but, what else? What else can we talk about? 
Oh yeah, lots of excitement going on with Miss Barbie. Lots. So I have been busy, 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 busy. There's a lot of great stuff going on in my life, actually. And, um, um, you know, we're always hearing about crap that goes on in people's life. But from time to time, let's hear about good stuff. So I'm going to share some other good stuff going on with me. <laughs> right? So I actually have been working a lot, doing some um, really cool artwork. And um, while I was away, I did, I was working a lot. And fantastic, really fun, new stuff. So I'm excited about that. At the same time, I am remodeling my home here. And with remodeling my home here, I'm creating some new artwork for the design. So that's exciting as well. So, but however, time consuming. So gotta get that going because yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming really, really exciting because now I'm starting to see things turn. I know, really, really cool. And at the same time, I have a couple of commission pieces that I um, have a deadline on Sunday for one. And so I'm going to definitely get that going. So, yeah. So all that I'm saying right now is that all of that is really time consuming. So if you haven't seen me for the last couple of weeks, that is one of the reasons. Because I have been working a lot. At the same time, I have been jonesing for my collection because um, while I'm away, I am not surrounded by it um, like I am here. And I cannot wait to show you the display case behind me because when I got home, you know, last night I was actually taking a look because, because I always change things and I forget. And then I look, and I was like, Fun stuff. Yeah, so wait till you see that. I think you are going to be really thrilled for me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to be thrilled sharing it with you. So yay, yay, yay. <gasps> okay, what else? Oh, my Lord. Yeah. There's been a lot of activity going on with Miss Barbie. I mean, the movie was one thing, and I was like, okay, well, what's happening after that? Well, all of a sudden, they're throwing... Right, on like all these things at us. You know, Barbie movie, of course, still going. Yay. Like I said, love, 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 love Sugar Daddy coming up. And I'm hoping that, right, we're all waiting for Alan. You know it's going to happen, right? I missed out. I missed out. I missed out on PJ. I did. In my busyness, I had no time to connect to Mattel Creation. Next thing I knew what I did, she was sold out, right? I know, and and I don't have any PJs in my collection. I thought oh, that'd be kind of cool. So we'll see what happens in the future. I don't know. Then I missed out on Maria Felix and Celia Cruz. All right. So Maria Felix, I don't really have much of a history as far as her career goes. Um. I, you know, my mom, my mom, my mom used to love her, love her. And when I was young, when I was a little boy, I lived in New York City. And back then, we lived in a neighborhood that had a Latin theater. And my mom would love, she loved, love, love going to see Maria Felix movies. Um, so that's my connection to Maria Felix. So I thought that was, That'd be kind of cool into in memory of my mom, right? Um, who has been gone long, long time ago. So that was that. So I missed out on that, right? And I was like, oh. Then I missed out on Celia Cruz, right? And Celia Cruz, I'm okay. So I'm Puerto Rican. Celia Cruz is Cuban. Celia Cruz has done some amazing amazing collaborations with some Puerto Rican musicians. So with my growing up, she was a huge part of our music, our culture, and dancing. <laughs> so as a Puerto Rican boy, as a Latino, we grew up, we were born with rhythm in our feet. <laughs> Yeah, so from a little boy, I was doing the salsa to Miss Celia Cruz. And when Barbie did uh, a tribute to her, I thought, oh, how great. However, once again, I missed out on that. I'm not that 
concerned because I know she's going to pop up and I'll be able to get her. Um, but yeah, and if you got her, great for you. I think that's really, really cool. I know that both of those, Maria Felix and Celia Cruz, sold out immediately. As a Latino man, I was so, so proud of that happening. I thought it was really, really fantastic, um, the, the, the fact that they deserve that. Yeah, those those women worked hard in their careers and they stood up for for us. And yay, 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 yay. Um, so, right, that's that. So then they threw out the white girl. <laughs> yeah, they threw out Stevie Nicks in there. Oh, yeah, interesting. So, at first I wasn't sure if I loved her. And actually I was able to get her. I would by that time I was on 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 with my calendar and on on point, and um, I didn't want to miss out because I also knew there was some really cool other Barbies that were being talked about that I was like, oh, I don't, I want, I want to get back on board, and I did. So so that was Stevie, and now Miss Stevie, I at first I was like, oh, I wish they would have done her more. Like I remember when I would go to her concerts and she had that crimped kind of curly hair. Right, La Bella Donna. Right, that's what I was. That's what I was hoping for. So they did her with the smooth hair, and which is what she kind of did sometimes. Um, but I love the fact that it's still the essence of Stevie. That you know, the black. I wish they would include some lace because Mama loved lace. Yeah, so wish they would have done a little of that. But dig the boots, dig the black. Yeah, I think it's a really pretty doll, and that's what it is. She's pretty. Um, so, got her, and then I was surprised when I turned around and they threw out some more Dia de los Muertos. I was like, what? Yeah, and you like how I threw that in like in that English accent, <laughs> Muertos. <laughs> yeah, Dia de los Muertos. Um, I was surprised not only that they threw those out, but they threw out some color. Yeah, love that. Yeah, the, that fuchsia on Barbie is amazing. Love the couple, right? Ken and Barbie, yummy. But then they threw in upcoming pink magnolia. The other one. Wow. Wow, I knew. I knew as soon as I saw her that there was going to be a fight. <laughs> how fast can how fast can I click on right? Yeah, click click click. Mmm. Yeah. So there I was. There I was. I was in the West Coast. So therefore, nine in the morning. I was ready. Blip, 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 blip. Got it. I know. So so happy because I gotta say, she is really cool looking. Yeah, Pink Manuel, I love the name. And I also love the fact that the artwork on the box is different than what they have done prior. So love that. And yeah, they even did some artwork in the back of the box, which it, that I haven't seen in my collection. I'm missing the first two that came out, right? And now they're at a heftier price and I'm like, right? But I got the others and I'm really happy. And one of the reasons I want to do the, this, the, the display tour is because now that I know that uh, the other Los Muertos line, the collection is growing, it's not gonna stop, right? It's growing and really some cool stuff and together they look pretty awesome. <sighs> My cabinet space. Mm, yeah, that that's gonna have to go through some major change because I love my Dia de los Muertos collection. And I'm definitely not going to sacrifice them for something else that I don't love as much. I know, I know. But if it's in the display case, that says a lot. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Because sometimes you got to put stuff away just because there's just no room, no room. So that's going to be an issue with my dear those one I just know it. However, I'm so happy with the collection. And I'm so excited about Pink Magnolia. Yay, yay. So I know that some people were able to get her and some people were extremely disappointed and I, and I get it, right? That's just part of the game. But you know, my thing is that I wish I would produce more 
<laughs> and you know, it's so it's all stressful to 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 be able to get it. And you know, it's, it's in your car, and sometimes it's like by the time that you're gonna check out, it's sold out, and that's heartbreaking. It's happened to me as well with some other collections. You know, it's like ah, oh. but that's part of the game. Right. However, you know that when you do get it, it's like, wow. <laughs> okay. What else? Yeah. So upcoming videos. Upcoming videos now. Okay. So right after this one, stay tuned for the tour. And that's just this cabinet behind me. Right. After that one, it's time to do my Halloween tour. Yeah, my Halloween tour. Um, and I, I'm not even sure, yeah, and I'm saying tour because I do have a horror shelf. Um, because I love those figures so much that they have to be there year round, not just for Halloween. However, I have quite a nice little collection that has come in with, and I cannot wait to show you that. So when I arrived, there is one that it is, oh my gosh, she's now up up there as one of my favorite things in my, my entire collection. Can't wait to show you that. So stay tuned for my Halloween episode because there's some really fun stuff on that. Yeah, and I also have another video coming up that I'm almost done with editing. And I realized that that baby is a little too long. Woo, I go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gotta cut that baby down because I'm not even done editing halfway and I'm already bored with that. <laughs> yeah, editing days. I have another video that I'm, I actually need to edit and probably cut some of it off because I'm do cut it in two pieces because there's some really cool horror stuff in there. Yeah, and I thought that, you know, now that we're in Halloween, it'll be a good time to share that with you. So my friends, woo, let's get on with the show. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, you know, right in front of me, um, I, I have some, some figures that I, I have set up to either put away or for another video that I'm gonna be doing. And there's this new guy that I've been adding to my collection that, um, that I find so adorable and I just got turned on to him. So, um, I, and I don't even remember to be his, I don't remember his, oh, what is his name? Um, his name, oh yeah, his name is Coco Mello. Oh, have you heard of this guy? Yeah, look, at, oh, look how cute. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, so I'll, we'll talk about this in another showcase that I have, but yeah, stay tuned for that because he's really adorable. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, he's gonna go on top of my drafting table because I love him so much. <laughs> All right, so as I was telling you, I got some fun stuff for you. Woo, it's that time. Yeah, yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, you know what it is? All of it is mail time. Here's the mail, oh. it never fails. Oh. Makes me wanna oh. whack my tail. Oh. When it comes, I wanna whack. <laughs> Oh, my friends, my friends. Yeah, so I have this special Barbie from the National Down Syndrome Society. When I look at her, I love her dress. I think her dress is very pretty. I like her hair, and I really think they did a really cool job with her. Yeah, so check her out. Ooh. I know, huh? Yeah, so she is part, oh, here. She's number 208. Right? So, I know. So I thought it was really, really cool that they went ahead and sent me 
a fresh one. And as you can see, this packaging looks pretty good, right? So yay, I know, good for them. And good for Mattel um, for being conscious of all the different people in the world. Yeah, I think that, that's really, really awesome. Yay! Oh, my friends. Yeah. Ooh, something's in the tissue. And <laughs> you know, I always say love that tissue because we get to undo it together. Look at this. Who is it? Who is it? That's right, my friend. Yes, Teresa. Oh, and with that dress, she's really a Teresa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Teresa, Teresa. <laughs> yeah, so Miss Teresa, 35th anniversary. Love the dress. Really love, love, love that Spanish look. It's amazing. Love it. Mm-hmm. She has gold accessories, her earrings, her clutch. Her bracelet, her ring. Yeah, and I think it's pretty cool that they added a ring. That's awesome. Yeah, and I love her little side ponytail and her dark hair and her blue eye shadow. Yeah, she is pretty. Mmm, right? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so in the back they put what? She used to look like, right? and what did what she looks like today? Ah, big difference. Yeah, yeah, huge difference. Yeah, like even that, that head scope, you can see that's a huge difference. Yeah, fascinating. No, but mama did have some fun boots. <laughs> right? So yeah, Miss Teresa. And I guess people are not loving her like they're loving Miss PJ. Right? PJ came out and sold out fast. This one is still available. Yeah, so I found that interesting. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's Teresa. <laughs> yeah, and as a matter of fact, I am going to... Pull Teresa out of the box. Yeah, which is another reason why I have to work on my display case, right? But yeah, I think she be, she needs to come out. I think she she um yeah she looked prettier out of the box, mm. right? And I was thinking that maybe I'll even sit her down, legs over to the side, huh. on this cool modern chair I got. I know. Love the, look, okay, first of all, look at the design of this, right? So simple, great shape, right? And then I love the design of these pillows, which are really cushiony, kind of like a faux leather. One at the bottom, one in the back. And there you have your chair. I know, right? So I thought that Teresa would look smashing on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I wish I had some more room for my di for dioramas, right? Because I have quite a really some cool stuff that I just don't have room for. And then you know, so it's uh, it, you know, something has to be sacrificed for something else, and I'm not ready for that yet. So, what's next? Mm. Oh my god! I couldn't believe that when I got here, these were waiting for me because I feel that they were just announced. Well, while I was gone, and here they, here they are. Are you ready? Oh, 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 oh no way! <laughs> Look at that, huh? Beautiful artwork, right? Yeah. 
you have the Barbie the Elemental series honors the customs, symbols, and rituals often seen throughout the festive time of remembrance. Ken Doll commemorates the occasion dressed in a black violet jacket with embroidered calavera sugar skull and bone details on the lapels. A striking sugar skull band wraps around his sombrero and accentuates his intricate calavera face paint. May the 2023 Barbie Dia de los Muertos doll fill your holiday with joy as you celebrate the memories of your loved ones. Mm. Sweet. <gasps> the boxes are always so beautiful and I love that these boxes are nice and sturdy. Right? So let's see what he looks like. Oh, Ken, come on out. <laughs> Yeah, and I am definitely going to be unboxing these. So I am really excited. Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Let me see if I could pull the plastic out so that the glare doesn't bother you. Yeah, he is yummy. Yeah, that sh the shirt is really like an interesting, like almost like feel like taffeta or something. Like, it's a little stronger with the, like the metallic um, silver lines. And then his hair is really interesting because he has, yeah, interesting. He has like a faux hawk. <laughs> Totally shaved, shaved on the sides with his hair going going back. So yeah, wow, that's different. And this is, I gotta say, of all the ones that I've seen, he looks the most skeletal. Yeah, and I think maybe because his hair is so severe, right? You can see, right? That's actually, you can see the shadow, but it's actually shaved. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a different kind of hat, which is still black, but looks great. His shoes are interesting with a little design on them. Really nice, different than the other guys, than the other Kens. Yeah. Dias de los Muertos. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, I think they could have done a Pink Magnolia Ken as well. Oh, would that be fun? <laughs> yeah, it kind of remind me a little bit of Mike, Mike Ryden, right? Yeah, but that would have been cool. I'm just saying, it's never enough. <laughs> okay, my friends, one more. Mm. Ooh, do you know who it's going to be? Ooh, I am so excited. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> yes! Oh, look at that. Wow. Now that is gorgeous. Oh, wow. That color is stunning. That pink, that fuchsia. Wow, look how neon and vibrant that is. So delicious. Yeah. Yeah, and see, so this is what most of uh, the Dia de los Muertos boxes look like in the back, which, are, which is beautiful. In the Pink Magnolia, the back of the box actually has the doll on it as well. And I think that's pretty cool as well. It's very different. So I, um, this one, it says, 
The Barbie, Dia de los Muertos series, honors the customs, symbols, and rituals often seen throughout the festive time of remembrance. Barbie doll brightens the occasion in a bold pink ruffled dress decorated with calaveras sugar skulls and colorful flowers. Delicate butterflies flutter above her braided headband and form a beautiful crown that forms her lace-inspired sugar skull face paint. She has her own tiny ofrenda diorama with dancing skeleton details, accessories with traditional marigold, and sugar skull accents complement her look. May the 2023 Barbie Dia de los Muertos fill your holiday with joy as you celebrate the memories of your loved ones. Mm. Yeah, and with her, I love, love that purse. I know, so, so cool. So, what does she look like? Mmm, wow. Yeah, we knew, we knew that she was special. Yeah, I know of all of them, she, that pink dress is really stunning. I love it. But I also love, thank you so much, that in this one, they actually did embroidery work, embroidery work and that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I think this may be one of my favorite the other those ones of dresses. Yeah, and then the butterflies in the head creating like a crown. Delicious, but at the end of the day, it's all about that freaking purse. <laughs> yeah, and her, yeah, her face paint is beautiful. She actually looks dead, and I love that. Look at that. Ooh, wow. <gasps> yeah, mama is delicious. <laughs> oh, so good. Wow. Yeah, gorgeous. The box is beautiful, and I love that in the background, they have pictures of Ken. Yeah, the, I think they're the two prior cans. And I think that's really cool. Let's see. Let's see. This one and this the other. So cool. Yeah, does he have pictures? Let's see what's in most. Does he have pictures of her? <laughs> yeah, he has pictures of her and the two prior. details right and you know then when you see stuff like that and you're like wow if I could display these in the box I would because they are absolutely gorgeous in the box and I love that tribute to each other in the, in the frame pictures I know right so my friends how exciting is that I know I hope you enjoyed this showcase I hope that you were able to get your own collection going. I know, so, so fun. To my friends, please take care of yourself. Thank you for joining my team, for my new subscribers. I really do appreciate you. And for those of you who have been a part of my show for a long time, thank you for still being a part of it. Take care.